Hi everyone, my name is Ben Porter and in this video I'm going to be giving you a rough guide of how to make your homemade parabolic reflector for bird recording or any sound recording purposes. So I made this little parabolic reflector last weekend um, as a sort of just slightly bored, don't know what to do sort of job um, and uh, I've seen a lot of interest in it since posting up a few images. Um, I really enjoy taking recordings of, of bird sounds and calls um, and I've been doing increasingly so over the last few weeks and um, I thought I'd go the next level up and try and get something that really just amplifies the sound and really concentrates it to make bird recording a lot more easy and to get much higher quality recordings without having to get the really expensive gear. Um, and uh, took virtually half an hour, an hour to make um, using mostly materials that you can just find around your shed or house um, and uh, just using your, your iPhone and some, and some headphones um, so it's pretty, pretty cheap really and the, the results um, have been fantastic I will edit in a few of the, the sort of comparison uh, recordings into this video so you can so you can hear yourself um, a few of the recordings taken with and without the parabolic reflector but um, I've been really really impressed with the results so far um, and uh, it's by no means the most sort of perfect model I'm sure a lot of people could probably make one a lot better than this um, but uh, yeah I hope you find this useful and can make one yourself and really enjoy using it as well. So I didn't actually document uh, what I did to make it in the first place particularly well so I'm having to do it sort of somewhat re retrospectively now really um, so I'll do my best to sort of show some of the materials that I used and then just take a look at the one that I've made to show you basically what I did um, I would use I would use another plant pot to make another one but uh, the other one of these has already been commandeered in to grow some peas um, so I just about got this one in time but so essentially what, what do you need to do this? So um, the ingredients, as it were, for making this are plant pot. I guess you could use a kitchen mixing bowl or a, you know any sort of, of, of bowl that I think has a slight firm, you know, hard um, feel to it is probably better than something flimsy. I was originally thinking like maybe an umbrella or something would do, but I think I, I really like the solid feel of, of, of using this. It's a little bit cumbersome to carry around but still does a pretty good job. Um, so plant pot, um, you're going to want four or five screws, four or five washers, um, a handle for this. What I've actually used is, um, is one of these litter picking rings that you get for, you put a black, a black plastic bag around here with this bungee cord. Um, for picking up litter and stuff, what I actually did was was take this handle off this. Uh, this was Dad's suggestion, and then have just screwed this onto the back, which works really well. And then I also used the bungee cord for fixing the phone inside the dish, as I will show you in a minute. Um, so I am still picking litter. I'll just I'll just say that there now. Um, but uh, it, it did come in really useful. Um, so you might have to find an alternative handle unless you have one of these that you can use but I'm sure you guys can get creative with it as well. Um, you'll also need a piece of wood and as I said just then a bungee cord um, seems to be the best way depending what microphone you're going to mount inside. For, for the one that I've made as you might be able to see here um, I've mounted my phone inside which I'm using a bird recording app or just a sound recording app sorry um, and, uh, and that's doing the job really well but you might want to just use a microphone or something which will be easier to mount on the side, to be honest. So I'll just walk it through from this angle as well. So I've got the, the handle here, which is screwed in to the base of the plant pot from the other side. I've got the bungee secured via just a couple of knots with the washers here. I've screwed the piece of wood on the other side so this is where the phone is mounted on this side of the parabolic dish and I have a, a piece of wood which just keeps the phone a little bit raised up from the base of the dish. This bungee cord secures, secures the phone 
on the inside like so. The headphone cable comes through this hole here and this piece of wood is screwed from the other side here. So pretty pretty simple really. So yeah, I hope uh, I hope that tutorial was useful um, and you're able to replicate something along those lines yourself and uh, get out there and get some fantastic recordings during this time of lockdown. Um, of course, stay safe, stay at home. Um, but depending where you are, there's a lot less noise pollution around, certainly for me here on the Slim Peninsula at the moment. Um, and taking sound recordings, it doesn't seem like there's ever been a better time for it really. Um, so it's, it's absolutely fantastic. See what you can uh, see what you can get out there and record. And if you have if you have any suggestions for how we can uh, improve, I'd love to see other people's attempts at making one of these and some of the results and everything that people are getting. Uh, so please share them online, comment in the link to this description or on Twitter, and uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing what people can manage.